Hi, this is Ray, and welcome to my workshop. This is the second guitar I'm building for the Great Guitar Build Off 2021. This is my kit build. This is a tribute to my dad and other naval aviators. This is for the A4 Skyhawk and all those Cold Warriors who flew that, like my dad. If you don't happen to like military planes, you might want to skip over this video. But got some cool footage, and I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to talk about inspiration for my kit guitar for the great guitar build off 2021 symbol of my childhood and a tribute to my dad stick around good morning i'm definitely not in my workshop this time I am down visiting my parents for the first time in over a year. I'm in South Florida and it seemed a great time to talk about my kit build for this year. What I'm going to build for you is a kit that goes back to my childhood. My dad was a naval aviator and uh, I grew up around planes and uh, one particular one sticks out in my mind. It's the A4 Skyhawk. My dad flew those during the Cold War, early years of the Cold War. And it just leaves an impression. Can't imagine why. Yeah, that kind of explains things. But what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do that as a guitar? Well, I'm also gonna pick up on something that was also designed in the 1950s and came out in the 1950s and was lightweight, utilitarian, and loved by the people who used it, the Telecaster. So I'm gonna take a Telecaster and I'm gonna build it up as a tribute to my dad and the A4 Skyhawk. We're gonna start with about a three minute video and this will just talk about the A4, its development and why it was cool. A4 was known as a battle scooter, or Heinemann's hot rod. This was a simple design that went on for decades. Same as the telly. Please enjoy the video, and we'll talk about what I'm going to do after that.
I was expecting a kit guitar, which means I was expecting pieces of guitar. This is a Stumac T-Style guitar kit. It was a little more expensive than the others, but I wanted to get some quality parts to start with. What you got here? Practically a completed guitar. So, yeah. This ought not be too hard. Got a lot of finishing work to do, which is what you might expect. It's just kind of rough sanded. Neck feels nice. Uh, nice shape. Uh, fret ends, of course, are still sharp, and, uh, and everything appears to be straight from just a cursory view. But that's it. That's my beginning of this challenge. I'm looking forward to it. I had anticipated that I would have a string through body set up. I don't know why I thought that. So I could load from the back. I'm going to have to load from this end. Which means the jet intake, which is supposed to be here, needs to be modified so I can get in here and load the strings. That'd be a bit of a challenge. Because a Skyhawk, the side of an airplane, has a curve, I'm going to shape this body, give it a mild curvature this way, give it a nice smooth finish, then I'm going to build up an intake here and bring it off like this. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to be continuing my two guitar build, Spy Guitar and the A4 Skyhawk. And I have no idea if I'm going to get this done. I have one month to go and two guitars to build. Stick around, watch my channel if you can. I appreciate your support. We'll see you soon. Stay safe. I almost forgot, quick shout out to the guys at Texas Toast and Mike Learn, who's doing a nice series on airbrushing classic aircraft onto guitar bodies. I didn't take his class, but I have to admit, at least subliminally, I was influenced by his work. So, shout out to you, Mr. Mike Learn, and Chris, and the other guy at Texas Toast. And as always, please click like. Click subscribe. Click a bell icon. Stick with my channel. Hope to keep this interesting and worth your time.